Guten Tag. Mein Name ist Hello. Dominik Dahlmann. Hello. My name is Dominik Dahlmann and I am going to be showing you our Robo to go in action on this CTX Beta 800 TC. Robo to go is our compact and flexible automation system. The highlight of the system is the easy programming directly on the machine panel. This features a graphic interface that guides us through the entire setup process. Let's set up a component starting with a hardware definition. In this section we can enter specifications such as the clamping device fitted on the machine, the gripper and pallet that are being used and the machine we're using with the robo to go We'll enter the clamping device first, a test clamping device. As you can see, the right-hand side of the screen always features a diagram showing the dimensions that need to be entered. We are currently using a collet chuck on the machine, so we only need to enter a single dimension, in this case 130 millimeters. Now that the clamping device has been entered, we can select it in the current configuration. Here's a look at the configuration. As I mentioned earlier, this contains the clamping device, gripper, machine and pallet. That's the information we need in order to get started. Now I'll go to the process, which is where we set up the workpiece. I've already created an example. We need to enter the raw part diameter together with the workpiece length and the workpiece weight for both the raw and the finished part. We also have the option of recording the processing time. If we do this, the system subsequently calculates how long the cycle will actually take for the entire equipped pallet. After entering our settings here, we then go to the program editor. In the program editor, I'll create a new test workpiece or test sequence. Here are the various elements. And here is our actual program, which we are currently setting up together. Let's take it step by step. We start by using the robot to grip a workpiece and pick it up from the pallet. We open the machine door, we unload the counter spindle in this case, then we load the main spindle, close the door, start processing and set the workpiece down again. That's all it takes to program the sequence. We just need to input a few settings in more detail, once again making use of the graphics provided. For example, which gripper do we want to use when picking up the workpiece, a raw part gripper or a finished part gripper? Do we want to grip the exterior or the interior? In the standard package, we can do both. In addition, we can specify the design desired gripping depth for the gripper, in this case 30 mm. And finally, we can also configure the safety clearance. These are the settings that we need to enter and the process is very similar for the other elements. Why do we open the door using the robot? The advantage of this is that we can keep using our typical NC programs without having to make any changes to the NC programs themselves. Whether we use a robot or not, the outcome is the same. Now that we've created the program, we just need to fill the pallet with work pieces and we can get started. Let's go to the home area, which I've already set up. All work pieces are equipped, but I'd like to show you how easy it is to adjust and configure these settings. After selecting the work piece here, we can choose to equip individual compartments or we can select an order size of 20 work pieces and in this case equip the entire pallet in one go. Once we've done that, the data will be sent to the robot and the process is complete. One final thing, here's the calculated time stating how long the system will need for the pallet. And now I start the system.